Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and connect your controller to RetroArch on PC. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is have RetroArch open and have your controller connected to your PC. In my case, I'm using an Xbox One controller wirelessly. However, you can use any type of controller you want, be it wired or wireless, as long as it's connected up and already set up on your computer. From this point, what we're going to be doing is coming over to the left bar right here, and we're going to be coming to the settings tab. We're going to be entering here, and we're going to be scrolling down until we see the input option right here. If we select this, we're going to be going down a little bit further, and here we'll have some extra details and options we can set up. However, in this case, we're going to be scrolling all the way down until we see the port controls, and here we can set up port 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So here you can set up to five separate controller ports and connections with different settings attached to each depending on how you want to set them up. So in my case I'm going to be setting up port 1 as I'm only connecting one controller. However you can use all the others if you're going to be connecting multiple. In this case we simply select this and here we'll be able to set up and choose all the different buttons. You can see the location of each of these and we can set up each of them individually and even add extra controls for gun controls, turbo buttons, etc. So depending on the type of controller you're connecting you can set up exactly what you want here. So in my case I'm going to be starting from the top Top. and the first thing you can set up is analog to digital type. In this case there is none because my controller does not have that. In my case the device index is going to be the Xbox One controller as that's what I have connected and here we can then scroll down and set each button individually and manually to be set up. So the B button or the down button in this case would be the A button on the Xbox controller. So you can simply click A and then select the button you would like to be connected to this. Then again we can go one button further. We can see the Y button for example. We, we can do this again then select Y and we can slowly go through here and do all the buttons. The next one would be select click a to select it then select the button you would like which is the select button on your controller further again we can select the start button click it and then select the start button on your controller and then you can slowly start to map and set up all these different buttons if at any point you would like to reset your controller to default you can come up to the very top and select the reset to default which will set everything back to how it was and if you'd like to save your settings you can click save controller profile which will save all of the changes you have made here so make sure to do this before actually exiting once you're happy with all of your settings we can simply click the back button or the b button on your xbox controller and go all the way back out to the main menu because now we have our controller set up and any emulator you run will run from these same controls unless they have something specific however you can always go back in and change your port controls anyway guys it's as easy as that to set up controllers in retroarch on pc if you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel i'm going to be leaving a link down below to my paypal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace